easier to prove otherwise. And already starting off with the famous Bunch Tribble against Zen. As Zen, also a little bit of a mystery at the moment for 1v1. He was one of the inactive players. Oh, he scored one early though. The game we're seeing here, just 1-0 as we approach halftime. Here's Zen with the delayed flick. It's a beauty, but it's off the joint. And now Khaled with the chance to counter. Zen backs off a fair distance. Khaled wants the air double bump. Zen beats him to the punch. It looks like Khaled will recover. But will he get back to save this shot? No, he would. Bounce high into the corner. Good vision by Khaled. He sees exactly where Zen is, but he under underestimates the speed. He knew Zen was there. He didn't expect him to just go anyway. Zen avoiding bumps and demos. Throwing one back. Looking to get the third goal of the game for himself. It's a failed wave dash for Khaled. Mind game attempt for Zen. And now in reverse, he'll put in his third goal. His comfort zone, perhaps. He needs to do something to surprise Zen. With just a minute left on the clock. Zen once again, though, just... That's going to be a good one, though. In fact, it could be his first goal. Will Zen give it to him? No, of course not. And he stations himself on the inside of the post, recovers on the crossbar of his own goal, and then scores a fifth. I mean, they a clean sheet right now as we get into the closing 30 seconds of the game. Zen does not want to give Khaled a goal. He is trying to take down the only player in this tournament to have made both previous soul binds, and he's doing it in style. Six nil. Zen air dribbles sideways, corrects himself with a flip reset, and accelerates the ball towards the goal. Can Khaled get one? He's going to try for it. You can see that he does not want to give Zen the clean sheet. It's a triple tap from distance, but he hits the bar. Khaled cannot get a goal. And Zen proves to be just far too strong in the midfield back and forth. Zen still in control. He has been for most of game two already. Lots of low 50-50s by Zen. And again, he scores in reverse. And a very low boost Khaled backed up into defense again. That's a very nice challenge though. And he might get his first goal of the game. Indeed he will. Huge challenge by Khaled. And it might be even more meaningful than that. Here comes Khaled off the wall. This is the kind of offensive play that he needs to be making. And it's going to work out. Fakes the reset high. And then half volleys it in. It wasn't the most powerful shot. But the accuracy made up for it. Khaled here to play. Here comes Khaled off that same sidewall. Bit of a heavy first touch. He settles for the 50, but what a 50 it is. Oh my word, Khaled sends Zen absolutely flying. Zen on the recovery nearly makes the save, but what on earth was this 50-50 by Khaled? But can he keep it up though? Will he force Zen to take more risks? Because if he keeps scoring, he will. He should be scoring here. Oh, it's effortless from Khaled. Zen controls it. And now he gets started from distance. With an off-the-wall aerial play, Khaled just pounces on him. Absolutely no fear whatsoever. Favorites. Very comfortably in this second game. Zen, low 50s one through. And that's his second goal. The threat of the high reset had Khaled jumping early. Zen just got behind the ball to back off to midfield. Khaled off the sidewall in defense. Another solid mid-air 50-50. Zen's recovery is good, but he's accidentally on goal. He tried to dribble it into the back corner, but he's dribbled it into the bottom corner of his own net. I'm sorry, Zen, but we're going to need to take another look at this. He didn't want to hit it into... You know, Zen scored a world-class own goal at the World Championship and then popped off and dominated the entire tournament from that moment. So Khaled better be on his most best behavior. Khaled just... Full control here. Excellent read on his own back wall to keep the ball moving away from dangerous positions. And there's that risk that we're talking about. Zen decided it's time to just go for it here. This is obviously not going to work a lot of the time. And he does call next. It's GG. Game two. Khaled able to come away with the win there in impressive fashion. Zen on the back foot early and I think he'll feel very good about himself after that because game one he had plenty of control oh what a masterful mind game by Zen he has Khaled completely filled with that one and how about the placement as well just the slightest of touches yeah overall though I think Khaled will be quite happy with how this series is going he had plenty of control in game one um just couldn't figure out how to surprise Zen with his offense and in game two he really figured uh out some 
ways to do that. Oh, how about Zen's offense though? My goodness, he just makes it look so easy. That is ridiculous. He's off the back corner well with a reset into a rebound. <laughs> the back post this time, Zen closes the gap. Fake challenge by Khaled actually got Zen to concede possession. That's a big move by Khaled there. Zen had to respect it. And Khaled is a free play and it's a massive flick. Well, what a flick by Khaled. I mean, he does like to flick occasionally, but he's not someone who's known for those boomer laser flicks. And that Words that had us previously disabling chat. That's a big flick by Khaled again, by the way. Really impressive stuff. I'm pretty sure that was pre-chat filter. And yeah, like I said, thinking out loud here. Um, but if you do remember, you'll remember that that, you know, really had everybody wanting to see more attack strat in 1v1s. Oh my goodness, Zen is just pogo <laughs> He's just pogo Khaled. <laughs> Khaled expected to challenge successfully here, but Zen just hits the ball a bit sooner than he... I don't know, because we've got... There's a chat filter in, in Rocket League, so we don't have to worry about the players typing silly things that would uh, get us in trouble. All right. Noted. Unanimous. It's Khaled. Uh, <laughs> Incredible scenes. And here comes Zen again. He told Khaled to be careful. And I mean, I'm not sure any amount of care is going to really make a difference to what just happened here because that was just too good. Zen with the early reset and the top shelf shot. If they'd give 3 0 3 1 as the, the most likely score lines, we could still get a 3 1. But Khaled is keeping this very close. He dominated game two. And oh my goodness, his speed from Zen. He doesn't even give me a second to build up a story here because he cuts off Khaled and scores again. That was just too quick. Flipping into position a lot faster than Cal and Zen in, con in control of the series, in control of game three. In control of the ball in every sense of the word. 7-3. Khaled early challenging this one. He's sick of goal line defending against Zen's double reset, single reset play. Flipped out of position there, though. As uh, Khaled turned around with the counter attack. Khaled playing this one out till the end. Zen... Looking to let the clock do the work for him, and Khaled's got an open net. He does for a kickoff goal from the straight spawn. Does not yield many kickoff goals, and it doesn't this time either. And that'll just about do it. Unless, oh, hold on. Well, Khaled might flip the script here. Sidewall, big time, and Zen did get goal side. Really nicely done. He does not concede the kickoff goal that he's already conceded a couple of times this series. So really good awareness by Zen there. Well, after after we get out of this game here. Recovery. Helps him get back into position. Stop Zen's initial goal threat. Oh, what control by Zen. Just dances past Khaled. <laughs> Pull shot in defense there by Khaled. Actually just bumping Zen into a clear. Uh, Zen is going to come away with the goal anyway. Khaled looking to dribble over some small pads here. A little pop to see what's happening. Good vision. And the flick is good that Zen has to worry about in every position. Zen backing away from the boost seal there. Realized Khaled had a shot. Khaled's missed that shot. A bit fortunate for Zen, who now stays safe in the back corner from the attempted demo. Khaled dribbling infield. Zen straight into the ball again. Just a direct read before the next round starts. We are going to be starting rounds exactly on the hour today. Every hour. Nice flip reset, Zen. That's a very simple goal from him. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be using an accelerated schedule today. I don't think I mentioned that today uh, beforehand. We'll be able to take... Uh, well, some of the players are already on a break. So they've swept their series. These guys will have... Depending on whether it's 3-1 or 3-2, oh, we might be heading to Game 5 of Cali to keep going like this. Uh, we will have about a 10 or 15 minute break for these two players before their next game. As well, that's going to enable him to force another 50-50 and really limit Khaled's attacking chances here. Great defense by Zen. Khaled shoots one first time, and it's easily saved by the Frenchman. Not only that, he recovers again. Open net counter attack that he just didn't get power on. Look at his Zen again, just pre-jumping to the ceiling and blocking every angle Khaled wants to use. Khaled's going to shoot this one first time. Good contact, and it's in. Now, two goal gap again. Players trade kickoff goals. Can Khaled threaten anything here? Oh, how about this? Well, I don't think Zen expected this one. Khaled jumps off the ceiling. And instead of just flipping into the ball, he jumps a second time to catch it and escapes. It's another attempt by Khaled here, but Zen is in the way of him. Can Khaled take control? Zen does not want to allow it. He won't allow it. And he confirms the series win by a 3-1 score. GG's.
Zen off to a good start in Salt Mine 3.